Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers, Man of Outdoors, back at you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk some, about something that was uh, kind of brought up a lot in a previous video that I did, where not too long ago I talked about external battery packs in the woods, power in the woods, what I prefer options for people. And in that comment section, a lot of people were talking about solar panels. Like, hey, what about solar panels? Do you use solar panels? What are they good for? Yada, yada, yada. Well, just so happens that the company Fox Ellie sent me and Chris some solar panels that they wanted us to test out, and I figured that's perfect for you guys for this video, so don't go away. So, Fox Ellie, like I said, sent me out two solar panels. One is their bigger 21 watt solar panel, and it's about the size of a, of a small notebook. Not too bad. It's uh, about one, I think, I have a, the card in here, I think it's one pound 17 ounces to be Matter of fact, so it's not really too heavy. This is definitely something that you would want to pack in like a main pack. This isn't something that probably would be going into a haversack very comfortably. But that being said, 21 watts on a given sunny day, which we don't have those in Ohio, but is very convenient. And uh, you know, I don't have very much experience with this uh, solar panel yet. We're just now kind of, I've only charged a few things on it. And like I said, we don't get very many sunny days, but that being said, today's a perfect day to test this because if you look up, we have literally scattered cover, no sun at all, very gray skies. These solar panels will still work. I have a question. I have a question. Yes? Well, you said it probably wouldn't work in a haversack, but unfold that and lay it over the haversack and see... Well, the, the point that I'm trying to make there is that in this haversack, now that you mention it, there is the second product that they sent, which is their 10 watt solar panel, which is much more convenient to go into well, I'm, a haversack. Well, I'm thinking about having it folded over top the haversack and then having your phone plugged in in your haversack. So Absolutely. I, so well, that's another thing that we're, you know, we can get into as well is this thing. They have just a million attachment points. They, they give you these carabiners. It has all kinds of little attachment holes and points and lanyards that you can attach carabiners to. This thing can be set up on trees, on packs, while you're hiking, things like that. I mean, it really could, there's a multitude of things and a multitude of ways that you could set this up for solar charging. So when Will says a million, what he really means is eight. <laughs> Ten. Tops. <laughs> little slight difference. I'm an exaggerator. What can I say? So, this has uh, six photovoltaic panels in it. These aren't connected. These are two different. So I call I class them as six, even though they're run in series. So right now, as you can see on the 21 watt, uh, the big solar panel, they give you a voltmeter on here. So this thing is pumping out about 5.3. To five uh, five point three three to five point three two oh, volts. That's badass. Yeah, like my that. anchor didn't even have that. Yeah, I like that. So I mean, as soon as you open this thing up, you say, "Okay, I am getting UV radiation. Cool, let's do this." So if Chris could let me borrow his phone for a second. My phone doesn't have any Rick and Morty ringtones on it. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, I have the information for these solar panels. We're going to get into that here in a minute. I just want to test these out. I do want to do probably maybe another video on each one of these separately. And I want to show how long it takes to get maybe a 50% battery on a phone or something like that. Something that we could actually test and see. See how long it takes to charge that powerhouse if it's totally dried. <laughs> so if you could kind of get a close up, we are charging. Ah, Bixby. There we go. We are charging right now. We're at 66%. So let's kind of go through the rest of the video talking about the uh, solar panel itself and read off some literature that they sent you know just to read you guys off some of the stats to the solar panel uh, the solar panel itself like I've said is 21 watts the big one is the smaller one is 10 watts 
But just focusing on the 21 watt bigger solar panel, it outputs five volts to 3.5 amps. It has dual USBs. Uh, unfolded size is 27.6 by 11.4 inches. Uh, folded size is 11.4 by 6.7 inches. And like I said, it's one pound, 17 ounces. Or for you, uh, everybody else outside the US, it's 0 .52, 53 kilograms. All right, so the stats on the 10 watt charger. Um, again, it's 10 watts. It, again, five volts or 1.85 amps. It's uh, 24 by eight inches folded by 9.5 uh, folded. It's 9.5 by um, 5.9 inches. So like I said, you know, in this only weighs a one pound 13 ounces or 51 kilograms. So the weight difference, in my opinion, isn't that much. Uh, you know, you're only talking about what five ounces or so, four ounces or so of weight. But just the size difference of it makes it a little bit more convenient, in my opinion. That being said, I don't have too much uh, experience <clears throat> with how fast these things are going to be charging, especially in the cloud cover that we have right now. So, you know, if we had bright sunny day this would probably be charging a lot faster but it is charging period so that's impressive just on its own so what we're gonna do right now is we've been charging on we've been charging on the big solar panel so let's move to the 10 watt what's the percentage on that now? 67 percent now so we've went up a point in like five minutes which is you know it's nothing really huge amount we, we went up one percent in five minutes but still we're just harnessing UV radiation from the sun, so it's a pretty cheap way to charge things. All right, so now we got the 10 watt solar panel out, and we're gonna just plug this bad boy in. All right, we are charging. So even on this crappy cloud covered day, we are charging the phone. And you know, this is something that, you know, if you're in camp, things like that, your phone, what we more or less want them for is you know keeping camera batteries charged keeping our phones charged I don't actually I switch from using cameras period uh, all of my videos are done on a phone now because it's one it shoots in 4k it's way better I can edit things and, and produce things completely on my phone so why not why do I need to carry around a camera when I can just carry my phone so that's what I've been doing lately so you know having these solar panels and maybe an external battery pack if I can use the sun, save my external battery pack, you know, for maybe the nighttime shoots or something like that if my battery gets slow at night, charge this thing in a day. I have full charging capabilities through, uh, you know, 24 hours a day. You know, and just, just for some general tips, if you're out camping and you're charging your phones and stuff like that, uh, at least where we go, we go out in the, the woods, we're not getting very good data signal or anything like that anyway. So... When you're trying to conserve your phone resources, make sure you close all the windows so you minimize the apps that are running. And especially, I don't know how iPhones are, but I know like with Samsung, there's like a power saving mode and there's like an ultra power saving mode. So right. if you're like really out there far away, you don't want your, you, you know, a smartphone will just sit there and draw power even if you're not doing anything. So make sure, sure you put it in those ultra power saving modes. And that will also help it to charge faster because it's not eating juice as you're charging. Right, right. So who is this for, in my opinion? You know, if you're not really concerned with, you know, having a phone or having a GPS system, things like that, you know, if you know, people that go on long hikes that use you know, Magellan GPSs and things like that, those things run on batteries. Some of them have uh, chargeable batteries that you can charge via USB, like a solar panel or external battery, or your phone itself, just using a GPS unit off of it, or using your phone in the woods. If you're not concerned with that, these might not be for you. So obviously you don't have to buy them. You don't need them. If you are somebody that is interested in you know, certain electronics in the field, and if you're filming out in the woods, especially like me and Chris are, we need something that definitely will keep our batteries charged up in the woods when we are filming for two, three days on end. Uh, this is definitely for you. You know, this is like I said, just a cheap way to to charge things up. This doesn't have to be charged before you bring it out to the woods. You just unfold it, start collecting UV radiation, start charging your phone, and there you go. Plus, having other 
uh, battery packs may be good to go along with it. You know, like I said in the other video, you know, just having something in your wallet for an emergency, like these little card batteries, these little card batteries would be if somebody's not really necessarily concerned with having power in the woods and keeping their phone charged at all times so they can film and stuff like that. But if their phone is dead and they're in a little bit of trouble, they can pull this out of their wallet, get an emergency charge on their phone, get an emergency text out, get an emergency phone call out, hopefully. You know, this would be something to go along with these solar panels, in my opinion. Just having that in my wallet at all times is, you know, a little bit of a security blanket. I would not want to be your right ass cheek. <laughs> it doesn't, it really is it's pretty thin, doesn't, doesn't uh, really mess with me at all. You know, ah. when it comes to these battery packs, uh, like Will's talking about, like say you've got an anchor battery pack or something like that, and you're out in the woods, and you have a solar panel, make use of, even if your phone's topped off, then charge that battery pl pack. plug it into the battery pack and yeah. constantly be uh, harnessing uh, some energy so you can use it later. Yeah, I mean, we could... Kind of like Black Panther, dude. Like, he gets punched and he stores that energy. It makes you like Black Panther. I didn't see that movie yet. Let's pull this battery back out here real quick. Comes out on Monday. Google Play. No. <laughs> Not to get it. Let's pull this battery back out here. They have better batteries in Wakanda. <laughs> okay. He doesn't understand. He hasn't seen it. Well, I've seen the new... There we go. So now this battery is charging off the solar panel. That thing's probably fully charged though. Green light's just indicating that. Oh no, the red light is on. So it's indicating that it is charging. So like Chris was saying, you know, you could, for an extended time out in the woods, be charging your battery packs and your phones. I mean, this has dual USB, so both of them have dual USB. So you could be charging two things at once, just you're gonna decrease the time the amount of time that it takes to get a full charge even if you do get a full charge off these solar panels but I'm into them uh, I've been using solar panels for quite a while we've had we've had them out in the woods before um, you know it very convenient way in camp to charge things up you know even on the go strapping these things on your back on, on the back of a pack or something like that and while you're hiking charging things up while you're hiking very convenient of course this doesn't this is actually solid but the way camera technology works you know through the camera this thing looks like it's you know spazzing out but it's just a solid blue and the the last solar panels that I had were the anchor ones and they did not have a voltmeter a digital voltmeter on it to let you know exactly what you got you got going so that is a really 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 nice feature and I like how it's actually set up uh, for the, because the different devices work differently with the power inputs. You've got one for Android or iOS and Android or one for Android. So that's weird. But either way, just having that voltmeter to let you know what's actually coming in and out of your solar panel that is a very nice feature. Do you happen to catch how much these are? Uh, I think the the 21 watt one was like 50 I want to say we'll put that on the screen here they're not very expensive at all to be honest with you yeah I mean uh, from, and that like I, I said this little one this 10 watt one I, I literally just put it right into my haversack in between I mean this is these are one of those things that you know I would consider an actual must-have right prepper type item because it's renewable energy yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost you anything to whip this thing out and start charging. And like I said, you know, we don't have sun right here right now. You know, it's completely overcast, cloudy, and we're still getting a charge. So if you're worried about something like that, well, how does it work if you don't have the sun, direct sunlight? Pretty good. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Just a very short video on uh, this, these solar panels. This, in my opinion, is a first look. You know, we just wanted to break these out test them out see what we're gonna get the next videos I'm gonna do and yes I'm going to continue doing videos on these I'm gonna take these out individually the 21 watt and the 10 watt and I'm gonna drain a phone down 50% and just kind of sit these out and see how long it takes for me to get 50% battery 
until I get a charge. I'm going to set a timer up, all that stuff. Really take these out and test them out. Hopefully with the, some good sun, this overcast, I'm sure it's not living up to the solar panel's full potential. So look forward to those videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, and if your phone's going dead, hopefully you'll see Will out in the woods. <laughs> Hook up to a solar panel.